Japanorama. Super likey. There have been many photographers over the years who have movingly explored the macabre. I'm thinking of the great Ouija, Joel Peter Wickian and Diane Arbus in America. But over here in Japan they have Kaoru Ijima, the photographer of the Dan. Tokyo-based photographer and TV commercials director Kaoru Ijima has earned international recognition for his controversial and innovative take on fashion photography, in which he quite simply kills off his models. I imagine that the dead person's soul has left their body, and as they are rising up, they look back at their corpse. For example, this woman here is dead. She has been hit by a car and has died. Her soul will think, why did I have to die there? I had so many things I wanted to do. She would be disappointed and frustrated, but when she leaves her body and rises up and looks back, she can think she looks beautiful. If you think you look beautiful, then to me, the person can be satisfied with their life. I want them to look at the pictures and think how it would be if that was them. I was afraid of death, and I wanted to ease this feeling. I think if people get closer to death, they can start to prepare for it better. For this series, I first of all interviewed the models who will be posing as the corpses to find out in what way they would like to die. Then I create each story using the model's wishes for each picture. This is Ai Tominaga, a fashion model. When I asked her how she wanted to die, she said she didn't want to die by getting old and sick. She wanted to die in her prime of a heart attack whilst she was walking. That's what she wanted as her story. So we killed her off in an airport while she was traveling for walk. This is the last thing her spirit saw as it was rising up. This one is Mari Natsuki, a famous top-class actress in Japan. She told me she is really obsessed with food, so she wanted to die surrounded by food. We chose tomatoes. Also, she really likes traveling, so she decided she would be traveling alone. I would meet a truck driver who gave her a ride. While they were traveling, she would sleep with the truck driver, but in the end, he would kill her and dump her with the tomatoes. That was the story she came up with. So how does Ijima-san picture his own demise? I haven't taken it yet, but I want my own death to be the last in the series of photos. 